Hello, and today I will be reviewing another Lego Star Wars set, the ATST Raider, which is set number 75254. This set costs about $50, and it comes with 540 pieces and includes four mini figures, which makes the price to part ratio about nine cents per piece. The recommended age for this set is for kids ages eight or above. Here, we have the box of the ATST Raider. We are showing you the box because we didn't put the stickers on this Lego set. And we want you to see what it looks like with the stickers. The reason we didn't put the stickers on it is because in the future, we're planning to do an MOD with this walker. This vehicle, an all-terrain combat walker, which was used to screen larger ones, such as AT-ATs, were produced by Quad Drive Yards for the Galactic Empire to purchase at 75,000 credits per unit. It measures about 9 meters tall, about 6 meters long, and about 5 meters wide. In the Mandalorian, this walk was stolen, heavily modified, repainted, and used by the tribe of Cartoonian Raiders. They painted the walker red, brown, white, and dark and light gray and used it to raid nearby villages, which earned the walker the name the ATST Raider. This ATST, operated by a driver and gunner from the tribe, had heavy armor to defend its crew from enemy fire of all sorts. To fight off enemies, the ATST Raider was equipped with extremely powerful weapons. Now, twin blaster cannons, a concussion grenade launcher, a dual-mounted missile launcher, and customized weapons that were installed by the Plantoonians. The grenade and dual-mounted missile launchers were located on the cheeks of the walker, while the twin blaster cans were located at the chin. This set comes with Kara Doom, the Mandalorian, and two Plantoonian Raiders. The Mandalorian works for the Mandalorians from the planet Mandalore while Kara Doom is an ex-Imperial Shock Trooper, who is a mercenary. The minifigure Kara Doom comes with an extended blaster rifle and alternate. She is an exclusive minifigure that comes with some really nice prints on the torso and legs. I thought Lego has done a wonderful job of recreating this creation in Lego form. The printing on all these minifigures are new, and you can only see them in the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, like the bounty hunter Jango Fett, wears classic Mandalorian armor. He also has a nice looking cape and a unique extended blaster gun. However, if you take the helmet off, you can just see a black minifigure head. Overall, Lego did a good job with this figure but I would have liked it if they could include a real face. I also noticed that in particular, hair due in the Mandalorian's heads are extremely difficult to take off after you put them on. Both of the Clatoonian Raiders are exclusive minifigures and are very well done, in my opinion. The ATST Raider driver comes with a cool-looking helmet and pauldron piece and is armed with two small blasters. The other raider comes with an interesting piece of armor around his neck and has an extended blaster gun. I think their faces and clothes have some really nice prints and are appropriate for this set and the scene. Yeah. As for the features of the set, there's a knob on the back of the walker that allows you to remotely turn the walker's head, which is really cool. You can put one minifigure into the walker by opening the top hatch. However, Star Wars, you should be able to put at least two people, a driver and a gunner, into the head. But this head is just too small. Inside, the walker has additional space for one weapon, 
and the control panel. The cheek mounted weapons can turn a fall 360 degrees, while the blackboard hands on the chin can almost go all around. Also, on the back of the walker are two mechanisms, which allow you to remotely shoot off the spring loaded shooters, which are located beside the blaster pins on the front of the vehicle. Each leg on the walker can bend in one spot, which is nice. It will be nice to have more spots on the legs that could move. This set comes with a lot of stickers to show accurate detailing, technical parts, paint, and backhoe damage. In my opinion, this set looks fine, but I don't like all the battle damage shown by the stickers, because I think it looks weird. I also think the set needs to be assembled to be more sturdy, especially how the panels on the head are attached. Furthermore, the details on the center section tend to come loose and break off really easily. This Lego comes with plenty of fun features, but you should get it when it's on a sale. Because at fifty dollars, you really don't get a lot more than from the previous ATST that Lego released which sold for only $40. It looks nice on display, but it needs more features and a more solid build in order to cost the price it is regularly sold for. This is the end of the video. Please feel free to leave any comments below.